Was geht ab, Leute? Willkommen bei Bohemian Killing. Das ist ein, ja, was soll man sagen? Es ist ein Detektiv-Adventure, nennen wir es mal so. Ähm, ich habe es noch nie gezockt. Ich habe die Grafik hochgestellt, die Musik ein bisschen leiser, damit es nicht nervt. Und wir machen einfach mal ein New Game und schauen uns das mal an. This game adapts to the choices you make. Each like can change the verdict for better or worse. Gut. She should be here by now. Press T to check the time. Yeah. So let's get started. Also wir haben Viertel nach... Hä? Zehn? War das Viertel nach zehn? What? Boah, die Maus ist viel zu schnell. Alter, die Maus ist viel zu schnell. Nein, man kann die nur noch... Ein Schritt. Ah, ist immer noch viel zu schnell. Open door. Ist zu. Press 1 to draw your dagger. Oh, oh. Oh, das habe ich jetzt nicht erwartet, dass wir hier auch metzeln können. Read a book plus 15 minutes. Was für Minutes? In-game time runs like in real life and it is important to arrange a reliable testimony. Gottes Willen. Ist zu? Ist nicht zu. WTF. Ah, das ist der Tathergang, ne? Press left mouse button to kill her. Oh. oh. <lacht> Wie krass. Bohemian Killing. Monsieur Eaton. Ja. Monsieur Eaton. Strange. Monsieur Eaton, I'm talking to you. Ja, ja. Ich... I'm sorry, Monsieur le Président. I, I was thinking. Do you understand the indictment? Sorry, but I have to ask the prosecutor to repeat. Monsieur Eaton, do you consider it to be a joke? You are charged with a serious crime. Please stay focused. Monsieur Prosecutor, please continue. Na gut. As I said, I accuse Alfred Eaton of murdering Marie Capet on the 17th of October 1894 Aha. in Paris. Paris? That day, Alfred Eaton was at the theatrical premiere of Prométhée, Vol du Feu, which took place at Opéra Garnier. As it is apparent from the testimony of witnesses, the accused left at about 8.30 p.m. before the end of the banquet. Banquet. At about 9.25 p.m., he rented a room in his name at the Caucasus Hotel, which is adjacent to the building in which he lives. It was in that room uh, that approximately at 11.16 p.m., Marie Capet was murdered. Läuft. Next, the accused returned to his house, and at about 10.05 p.m., he entered his apartment in the company of Marie Capet, or let her in. It results from the fingerprint analysis. It did not show the victim's fingerprints on the outer side of the door, only on the inner. Alfred Eaton, by means of deception or threats, led the victim to his secret workshop, which is located on the first floor of his apartment. Aber viel. The police report did not indicate any signs of struggle or resistance. The accused probably wanted to test on Marie Capet the prototype of a torture machine of his torture. Alter. Was in the room along with medical tools and manuals of torture. Kranker Shit. 
When Marie Capet realised what the accused intended to do, she grabbed a metal rod lying in the room and hit the accused on the head, which caused a real threat to his life and, according to doctors, may have caused unconsciousness. The fingerprints of Marie Capet's left hand were found on the rod, as well as Alfred Eaton's traces of blood. Traces of blood were also found on the floor of that room. At the time of his arrest, the accused had an extensive wound on his head, as confirmed by medical examination. Seizing the opportunity, Mary Capet fled from the apartment. Uh -huh. She was stressed and lay in a hurry. This was confirmed by her numerous fingerprints secured on the inside of the door of the apartment of the accused. Then, Marie Capé ran into a nearby hotel, the Caucasus. Caucasus? It was the same hotel in which the accused rented a room. As it appears from the testimony of the clerk, Marie Capé was extremely stressed, repeating the word doctor and police. Probably she wanted to call for help. When the clerk went to get some water to calm Marie Capet, she disappeared. Uh -huh. The next day, on the 18th of October, about 8.32 a.m., a maid found her body in a room das waren wir rented dann, by Alfred man, ne? Eaton. It was covered with numerous fingerprints of the victim and of the accused and had traces of the victim's blood. The immediate cause of death was a severe blow to the abdomen in the liver area with a blade of about 14 centimeters length. The murder weapon constructed by the accused was secured in his apartment. Marie Capé's hmm. unwashed blood stains were still present on it as well as the fingerprints of the accused. The accused is also charged by the testimony of one of the neighbors who passed testimony? the accused at the front door of the building in which they both lived at about 11.30 p.m. The witness testified that the clothing of the accused was stained with blood. Unfortunately, the said clothes were not found. Aha. Uh -huh. At the time of committing the alleged crime, the accused was sane, which means he acted consciously. Uh, yeah. For committed crimes, the accused shall be liable to life imprisonment or yeah. death penalty. Läuft. Has the accused finally understood the indictment? Oui, Monsieur le Président. Does the accused plead guilty to the charges against him? No, Monsieur le Président. Does the accused want to provide explanations? Oui, Monsieur le Président. Oui. Uh, Monsieur le Président, could I ask you for some conversation time with my client? Of course. I just wish it would not take too much time. We've already wasted too much of it. Monsieur Eaton, please note that you can look through evidence at any moment. It is available by pressing tab. Huh? I will show the defense evidence to the court at I will show the defense evidence to the court at the time of your uncovering during the testimony. It might surprise the prosecutor. If necessary, you can recall the string of events according to the prosecution by pressing the Q key. Will you need my help during testimony? I will give you my advice and remind you of important facts and Ach, du Scheiße. Ich, wir machen lieber yes. We are ready. Uh, Monsieur le Président. Then let's get started. Monsieur Eaton, what were you doing on October 17th, 1894, from 8 to 12 p.m.? There was a theatrical premiere of Prométhée that day, which was sponsored by Le Feu, in which I am the lead designer. Starting at 7 p.m., I was at the premiere at the Opéra Garnier. Around 8.30 p.m., after the play, I found that I did not want to attend the dull banquet, and instead I preferred to work. I said goodbye to Hugo Argent, uh, President of Le Feu, and I drove home. 
I got there at about 9 p.m. Was kommt denn jetzt? Ah, jetzt. For a moment, I admired the charming streets of Montmartre. I decided to go for an evening walk. For a moment, I admired the charms of Montmartre. Wo muss ich denn jetzt hin? Hier rein vielleicht. Then I opened the gate. Das ist ja irgendwie krass, oder? Dass, dass man jetzt, dass er die, seine, seinen Tathergang jetzt selber nochmal schildert und wir können den nachspielen. Das äh, ist schon irgendwie cool. I entered the nearby hotel, Caucasus. Caucasus, ja, das haben wir ja gerade in der Anklage gehört. Ah. I wanted to rent a room in a hotel, but the clerk said that a room had already been rented in my name. He said it's on the top floor and gave me a spare key. I must add that the conversation with this man was not held at about 9.25 p.m., uh, as according to his testimony, but at a different time. Uh -huh. Monsieur do you claim that you did not rent that room? Oui, Monsieur le Président. But I knew it could not be a coincidence. The name Ethan is not that common. So you tried to learn more from the clerk? Yes, however, he hid behind his professional secrecy. I knew he wouldn't tell me a thing. I do not understand one more thing. You live next to the hotel. So why did you want to rent a room Gute there? Frage. Sometimes I meet up with some girls of the Moulin Rouge and due to my reputation, I prefer not to do it in my apartment. Ha. Did you meet Marie Capé face to face? No, Monsieur le Président, never. I understand. Please continue. Hey, ich verstehe nur nicht. Event? The accused was at the theater premiere of Promethe. Supporting Evidence Hugo Argens Testimony. Ach du Scheiße, guck mal. Prosecution Defense Supporting. Das ist ja echt abgefahren. The Murder Weapon. Boah. Ich habe aber noch nicht so ganz verstanden, wie ich jetzt hier selber irgendwie was da da stand ja oben gerade dass er das dass er meine antwort ähm, dass er sich meine antwort merkt aber ich habe gar keine möglichkeit gehabt das irgendwie auszuwählen das wundert mich jetzt ein bisschen naja ah, in welchem ja, kurz gucken in welcher etage das war Okay, ne, wir müssen auf Q. Der Accused, ja genau. Rented a room on his name at the, which is idea sent to the building. That approximately. Ja, welcher Raum war das denn? Habe ich jetzt tatsächlich nicht mitgekriegt. <lacht> Aber wir drücken einfach mal irgendwas. Vielleicht stimmt das ja gar nicht. Hä? Supporting Guestbook. I tried the door handle to the hotel room, but it was closed. 
I tried the door handle to the hotel room, but it was closed. Then I called the elevator. I opened the elevator grate. I took the elevator to the second. Das hat er doch gar nicht gemacht. <laughs> Then I opened the elevator grate. I opened then I opened the door. Welchen Raum haben wir denn? Ich weiß das nicht. I tried the door handle to the hotel room, but why did you want to open that door? I'm ashamed to admit, but I, I forgot which room I had rented. Yeah. I understand. Please continue your testimony. <laughs> I opened the door and entered the Ah, room. das war wohl der richtige. I drank some decent champagne. I drank some decent champagne. There was a suitcase in the room filled with francs. I picked it up and took it with me. Monsieur Eaton, why did you take the suitcase with you? Monsieur le Président, there was a suitcase filled with money in the room, rented in my name. I did not see any reason not to take it. <lacht> Please continue your testimony. Naja, es ist so eine Sache, ne? Was soll? Das habe ich noch nicht so verstanden. Also, die, wenn ich jetzt sage, ich habe das die Zeitung gelesen, dann äh, verschiebt sich quasi meine Aussage dann um 15 Minuten, ne? Weil das nächste, was ich dann mache, ist ja dann in 15 Minuten erst, weil ich ja die Zeitung gelesen habe. Then I read cultural announcements. Ja, ich würde sagen, geh mal schlafen, ne? I was tired after the banquet, so I immediately went to sleep. I was even too tired to undress. Is it all you want to testify, Monsieur Eaton? Oui, Monsieur le Président. And so I close the hearing. It is time to present your position. Jetzt, das ist ja abgefahren. Ich glaube, ich habe ich hab irgendwas vergeigt. Ich habe ja irgendwie gar nichts jetzt ausgewählt. <lacht> Monsieur le Président, the accused tried to trick himself off the responsibility. He used cunning rhetoric, trying to hide more and more of his new lies. However, in view of the evidence presented by the prosecutor, I have no doubt that Alfred Eaton, defendant who appeared today before the court, murdered Na, Marie toll. Capet in cold blood. Please, let the High Court not be deceived by his tearful stories about a poor gypsy from the country who gained his success with hard work and which Marie Capet so cleverly tried to destroy. It was the accused who destroyed the life of a poor girl and her family with full premeditation. And what did that poor girl do to deserve such cruel fate? Hmm. She was searching for a better life and was employed as a maid in the same building in which a dangerous psychopath lived. According to the prosecution, the accused is guilty, Monsieur le Président. Arschloch. <laughs> Therefore, I apply for recognition of Alfred Eaton, defendant who appeared today before the court, guilty of all charges against him, and for imposition of the death penalty by beheading on the guillotine. Was? Dem schleife ich die Nüsse. Monsieur le Président, uh, Monsieur Prosecutor used a lot of high-flown words. However, during the preparation of indictment, he made many mistakes. As to the hotel room, my client had rented the room in the Caucasus Hotel on the night of the murder. However, as he testified, he had planned a meeting with a prostitute, not to murder Marie Capet. As to the alleged attempt to use the torture device on the victim, My client did not intend to use his interrogation device, which the prosecutor describes as a torture machine, neither on Marie Capet nor on anyone else. 
It is important to emphasize the relationship of Marie Capet and my client. According to the testimony of the victim's parents, she felt a deep resentment and contempt, both for my customer and for his work and success. As to the Die meeting with Marie Capet in his apartment, my client has never met with Marie Capet in his apartment. We do not know where Madame Capet's fingerprints inside of that apartment came from. As for Alfred Eaton's weapon, please note, Monsieur le Président, that my client testified that he had not had the murder weapon on himself. The knife was in his secret workshop all that time. Everyone could have stolen it and then dropped it off. As for the murder, as my client testified, he did not kill Marie Capet. So, who did? As for the testimony of the neighbor who saw Alfred Eaton entering the building covered in blood. According to my client's testimony, that meeting had never taken place. So the witness made a false testimony. Das ist ich bin die ganze Zeit am Taking into account the evidence from the neighbor's opinions, the witness might have had a motive, an aversion towards my client, and racial prejudice. Thank you, Monsieur le Président. Abgefahren. Ach so, ja. Das war's dann wohl, ne? Dann gibt's jetzt wohl die Todesstrafe. Monsieur Eaton, please hurry. The court is ready to announce the verdict. Oh, oh jetzt. The verdict on behalf of the République Française. Ich hab's sicherlich vergeigt. The court, as present, hereby finds that Alfred Eaton accused of murdering Marie Capet, is guilty of the charges against him and sentences the accused to the death penalty oh. by beheading on the guillotine. The executions will be done in prison de la Santé Krass. the next day. Also, ich hab's vergeigt. Abgefahren. Summary. Ja, irgendwas habe ich total vergeigt. Justification of the verdict. There is no doubt that Alfred Ethan is guilty of the murder of Marie Capet. The court found no mitigation circumstances in favor of the accused. Therefore, the most severe punishment was imposed. Krass. Oh, oh, nein, nein, das könnt ihr nicht machen. Ja. Oh Mann. You were sentenced to death. Ja, ich glaube, wir hätten da noch ein bisschen mit unseren Beweisen rumspielen müssen. Ja, ich habe lieber mit der äh, die Geschichte gelauscht und einfach äh, irgendwas, bin einfach immer nur gerade ausgegangen. Also, es, es ist irgendwie geil. Also, irgendwie ist das sehr, sehr interessant. Wir haben so viele Möglichkeiten, ähm, uns diesen ganzen Kram anzugucken. Ihr habt es ja kurz gesehen, ich habe mal ein bisschen in diesen Menüs rumgeguckt, aber äh, ich hätte nicht gedacht, dass das jetzt irgendwie so wichtig ist, ich hätte eher gedacht, dass zum Beispiel, wenn der mich irgendwas fragt, dass ich dann ein paar Auswahlmöglichkeiten habe. Aber irgendwie ähm, funktioniert das ganz anders, als ich gedacht hätte. Wir könnten es jetzt natürlich nochmal machen, aber das machen wir jetzt natürlich nicht. Ihr habt gesehen, wie das Spiel ist, wie es aussieht. Ich finde es sehr, sehr interessant, muss ich ganz ehrlich sagen. Allein die, die Sache, dass du den Tathergang nochmal selber erzählen kannst und dem Richter quasi erzählen kannst, was du gemacht hast und so. Sehr, sehr cool gemacht. Bohemian Killing, Leute. Sehr interessant. Den Link findet ihr unter dem Video, falls ihr es ausprobieren wollt. Ich finde es wirklich cool. Danke fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Haut rein. Ciao.